This is a film that women will clap their hands after watching. Men are scared after watching the movie. If you brush to please you must see it all. A woman named Slim is a waitress in a restaurant. Today at work, she encountered a pestering punk. Mitch, who was next door, helped Slim to chase away the punk. That's how they met. Slim married Mitch who rescued her, and then gave birth to a daughter. At this moment, Slim was smiling happily. I thought the three of them would be so happy forever. Until one day, an unexpected phone call revealed Mitch's bad nature. Slim found out he was cheating on him. But in the face of Mitch's sincere apologies and vows, Slim still chose to forgive him. But not long after, Slim smelled a woman's perfume on her husband again. In the face of Slim's fury. But this time, Mitch is very calm and justified. You go out fool around I sit here I take care of your house kid. Sorry I love you yes. But I am not a doorman I'm your wife. And you cannot do this to me. You cannot do this to me anymore. What I can't hit you. No you can't. You want to fight. My man honey it's so contest. You have to understand slow. I make the money here so I set the rules right. The next day. Slim found her mother-in-law and best friend to complain. But to her surprise. Mitch finds out about all this. He also threatened his daughter to warn Slim. He also threatened his daughter to warn Slim to be a good wife at home. But Slim was too stubborn to give in. So she went to the police to consult the problem of domestic violence. But the police gave the result. But Slim was very dissatisfied. Because as long as it's not too serious. Mitch. Even if he was arrested. He could soon pay for his own bail. So she decided to take the kids and run away from home. She called a few friends to meet her at the door. She carefully packed her bags and picked up her sleeping daughter. To the door she was very reluctant. But in the end, she chose to leave. But just then her husband found her. He started to beat her up. At that moment, friends heard Slim's screams and came in. Slim was already knocked unconscious on the ground. Mitch took the gun and told them to mind their own business. But the wise uncle took the opportunity to call the police and wake up his daughter. Look at Papa really wake up. Wake up look at your mama. Mitch had no choice but to put away the gun and let them go. Finally they arrived at a hotel. But when she swiped her card, she found that all the cards were frozen. With the help of a friend, Slim and her daughter checked into a motel. But what she didn't expect was that her husband, with the help of a police officer friend, would soon track them down. So she hugged her daughter and left through the window in a panic, and quickly got on a bus, which was able to escape from her husband. So with the help of her friends, Slim made a bold decision. In the face of her husband's repeated violence, Slim took his daughter to the home of his ex-boyfriend abroad. Looking at the former lover came to join, the ex-boyfriend looked particularly happy. But that night, several people claiming to be police officers broke into the ex-boyfriend's house. After some fruitless search, one of them used a dagger to hold the ex-boyfriend's neck. Obviously they were not police officers. They were gangsters sent by Slim's rich and powerful husband, Mitch. After they left, the ex-boyfriend received another threatening phone call from Mitch. In order not to get her ex-boyfriend involved, Slim left again. She finds the rich father who abandoned her. The father is so promiscuous. He can't even remember how many kids he has out there. So he didn't trust his daughter who suddenly appeared. Faced with such a father, Slim took out the necklace and ring he gave to his mother, and then turned around and left. In this way, Slim took his daughter to live a life of displacement and rescue. Until this day, her father sent her an unexpected letter and a sum of money. The letter said he was threatened by some strong men. If he helps Slim again, he will kill him. But her father was no ordinary man, and that piqued his interest. So he chose to help his daughter, who had suddenly appeared, and even settled the house for them. But as time went on, the little girl was always clamoring for her father. Slim didn't want to deprive his daughter of this right, so she drove to the far outskirts of town. She used a work phone booth to dial her husband's phone number, but she never thought that the call would reveal her location. On that day, Slim was at home packing clothes. I want you back. No. Then, Mitch covered Slim's mouth and slammed her back and forth on the wall then slammed Slim to the ground and strangled her, and this scene was just seen by the daughter. The daughter grabbed her father's hair and covered his eyes, but the father shook it off. Slim also took the opportunity to use mace, and then hugged his daughter and left in a hurry. To avoid her husband's pestering, Slim gave her daughter to her girlfriends to travel abroad, and she went to a local lawyer who was very famous. However, after listening to her, the lawyer also said that the situation was very unfavorable to her and her chances of getting custody of her daughter were almost nil. Slim finally realized that running away from her husband's threat of violence was not an option. The best way to protect herself is to fight back. So she found her father again, and asked him to introduce herself to a very powerful boxing coach. Mitch is often violent with his wife. The wife decided to stop being silent, 
So she hired the best fight trainer and started the highest intensity training. She used a rope to train her breathing and physical strength. She used a ball thrown by the trainer to train her reaction speed and let the trainer choke her to practice counter takedowns. With determination, she mastered various fighting skills in just one month. And this is the anger of a woman who was abused at home. The rage of a cowardly woman who couldn't stand it anymore and fought back. At night, she crept over the fence and opened the door to her room. After spending the night in the room, she set up the scene while her husband, Mitch, was away. In order to kill Mitch in self-defense, she first cut the phone lines, then collected all dangerous items in the room, then used a metal detector to find Mitch's handgun. Then, she put the prepared custody agreement in the drawer, finally put on the gold ring, tied the wrist with professional boxing bandages everything, ready only for the return of her husband Mitch. At night, just as Mitch entered the room, Slim turned off all the lights, sensing that something is wrong. Mitch goes for the pistol in the drawer, not surprisingly, he left his fingerprints on the document. He tried to call the police, but there was no signal. Then he heard Slim's voice, and that's when the lights suddenly came on. Seeing that Slim was alone, Mitch was no longer afraid, but Slim's next few slaps left Mitch in disbelief. Then, Mitch came up with a surprise attack. Then Slim slapped Mitch in the face to trigger his anger. In the face of Mitch's repeated attacks, Slim successfully dodged and deliberately led her husband to create the scene of domestic violence. And the husband was also beaten nostril bleeding, powerless to fight back. Then she deliberately let Mitch choke her neck, and after leaving Marks, she managed to get out of control. Immediately after, Slim launched a series of attacks, directly beat the husband fainted to the ground. However, just as Slim picked up a marble tile to deliver a fatal blow to him, she couldn't get it out of her head and threw the tile away. Slim called her friend in tears, saying she couldn't do it. After all, he was her daughter's real father, he was her former lover. But just then, she was suddenly attacked by Mitch. But soon Slim turned the tables. At the same time, her mind began to flash images of domestic violence, and her body burst out with endless power. She then called the police and threw all her tools into the river. The police arrived, and, not surprisingly, Slim was eventually found not guilty of self-defense. 